guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial using Makeup Geeks Insomnia Pigment. It's absolutely insane. It's so pretty. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now, obviously, because this is the tutorial. Um, I absolutely love this look. I love the way it turned out. It was the first time like putting everything together on one go. So I'm really happy with how it turned out and I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get started. The first thing that I'm doing is taking a skin tone shade and just putting that all over my eyelid and then I'm taking Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek and I'm putting that in my crease with just a crease brush. Don't forget to prime your eyes before you do this, that way your eyeshadows will not crease and they'll stay beautiful throughout the whole entire day. And then I'm going to take Omega by MAC I believe and I'm going to put that all over my lid and then blend that into the crease as well. Um, this is just going to help the base. Um, and I just kind of blend it and then I'm gonna take whiskey from the Naked Smoky palette and I'm gonna put that just basically all over my lid wherever we put Omega and then I'm gonna blend that again um, not picking up any extra product just blending what's on there and then I'm going to take um, just a darker brown color from the Stila palette I think it's called being and I'm just gonna blend that with a 217 by Mac and just blend is the key and then I'm gonna take the star of the show which is insomnia by makeup geek and you don't want to do your under eye concealer before you do this because there is fallout so be prepared for that um, and I do show you in the end of the video that I wipe it away and whatever um, so really the key is to just blend and there I was just spraying my brush with urban decay setting spray just to make the colors pop even more um, obviously that's optional, but I really like doing that because it makes the pigment just amazing, even more amazing than it already is. Um, and I'm using a flat shader brush for that. And I'm just kind of going a little, like, into two thirds of the eye and then leaving the rest for the darker brown. And don't forget to blend, blending is key. Um, and now I'm taking that being shade again and just kind of making the outer corner smokier and now I'm wiping away insomnia or the uh, fallout from the insomnia and now I'm taking my Naked Skin Concealer in Fair Neutral. This is amazing but I kind of realized that I maybe put on a little too much but that's okay because we're going to just use a bit beauty blender and we're going to blend that all away and for this look, I really wanted to go all out, so I contoured, I put on blush, I did a really vampy dark lip, I, you know, brought out my beauty blender, which I never really do now, um, and I don't normally conceal my under eyes just because I'm not super self-conscious about them and I don't feel like I have to, but with this look, I really wanted to go all out, and I'm sorry if you can see, like, the dry patches in my skin, but for some reason, my skin is hating me right now, so... Yeah, then I was just setting it with the uh, Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm taking Bitten by Makeup Geek on a pencil brush and I'm putting that and I just poked myself in the eye. Um, I'm putting that on my lower lash line and this is just kind of to mimic what is insomnia, like what the colors are insomnia and I really like how it turned out. Um, I didn't use Bitten on the upper lid but I used it on the lower lash line and then I'm taking whiskey and just kind of blending that with Bitten and I really love how it turned out. Obviously you can leave it alone if you wanted to but I felt like it was really unbalanced if I left the lower lash line empty so I added that and don't forget to blend, 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 it is key. Now I'm taking Black Dahlia by OCC, and I don't know if they make this anymore. I'll have it linked down below if they do. Um, this is just like an all-over liner is what they call it, I think. Um, I think you can use it on your eyes and whatnot. Not sure about the specific shade. They do have certain ones that you can't use on like your eyes and whatnot. But I'm just using this on my lips, and then I'm putting Echo by Kat Von D. It's a liquid lipstick over the top of it. I didn't want to do Echo just by itself because I felt like it was a little too blue. So I like how the Black Dahlia lip liner made it a little bit more purple and even more vampier than it already is. And that is the final look. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later.